Hello my loves, I am back and we have so much to talk about. I haven't uploaded for three weeks and I've honestly felt so guilty about it but we'll talk about all of that later and I'll give you a bit of a life update. First thing first, oh my god I can't say it. First things first, I need to shoot the outfit I'm wearing. This is like the first transitional summer to autumn outfit that I have shopped this year so I'm quite excited. And then yeah, I've got a bit of a working day so I'll take you guys along with me. So we are in Chelsea. I've just finished shooting my outfit. Yeah, I'm just here with the lovely Grace who's helping me shoot. Hey Grace guys. is also <laughs> looking very autumnal, <laughs> which is nice. Got in the car in the nick of time. It's just started raining, so that was perfect. And we're now just driving to Joe and the Juice to get some lunch. Okay, so we're now home. If I sound a bit ill and a bit nasally, I've been so poorly, for, well not so poorly, that's such an exaggeration, I've been, I've had a really bad cold for the last week and a half. I arrived in Ibiza and the next day it just hit me. Yeah, I was very bad company the whole trip really because I just felt so rubbish and I felt better this week but all of a sudden this afternoon it just kind of hit me again. Anyway, I've come to show you guys something very boring but I'm so excited about it. You remember ages ago I said, does anyone have a recommendation for a aesthetically pleasing functional laundry basket? If you can remember me saying that, you are amazing because I, it's very boring information that I mentioned quite a while ago. And you girls came through with the recommendations, but all of the recommendations you had, which were very pretty, they weren't bunny proof. They think wicker, I think the bunnies would just eat. And then I found this one from Joseph and Joseph via Harrods. And let me show you, because I'm excited about this. It's pricey for a laundry basket, but laundry baskets are one of those things that once you buy, you kind of just have. So I can kind of justify the price. It was £110. Oh God. So let's see how easy this is to assemble. Oh, it's quite big actually. Okay. Thinking I should have gone for the smaller one, but let's build it anyway and see see if it fits because i want it to be hidden kind of out of sight behind my door now i'm the kind of person who likes to do things without reading instructions um okay so these are the laundry bags I'm just looking in the viewfinder and i can see how dark my hair has got i'm gonna get colored next week at some point and i think i want to go a little bit lighter i don't know Everyone always says they prefer me darker, but I personally prefer a little bit more blonde. So far, so good. Now what? Does it fit? Yes. Does it look ridiculous? Also, yes. I think this would work in like a family utility room or something, but it's just like too big. So I'm going to have to dismantle this and take it back but for reference you open it up and there's two bags that pop inside here uh, for whites and darks um very well made very good quality but sad times good morning guys i hope you're all doing really well i'm feeling a lot better this morning which is good i always get ready in this cute little revolve dress because i always do my skincare my makeup my hair and everything first and my outfit's always the last thing but i still want to feel cute while i'm doing all of my like morning routine bits and bobs so yeah this is what i wear and it's just so pretty um i'll have it linked down below but anyway i've got a busy day today i've got a long to-do list and so i thought i'd just get up early and get ready and just smash it out throughout the day okay so i've got some of my jobs out of the way i've had my morning meeting and now i'm going to show you guys an abercrombie haul because they're currently doing 25 percent off denim and then you get an extra 15 percent off on top of that with my code which i'll put up at the screen here and i've also got sales going on sidewide which you can also use my code on but yeah as you guys know i am a huge fan of Abercrombie. I love their basics, I love their clothes, but weirdly enough, I've never tried their denim. And I don't know why, because it's really hyped on online, on TikTok, and I'm always seeing things about it. I guess I kind of thought I have enough denim, but I can see the hype now. I've tried all of them on. I did a try on for stories this morning. So I'm gonna show you guys on YouTube as well. By the way, this top I'm wearing is also from Abercrombie. I've got it in black and white and it's like this kind of slit neck which i'm really into at the moment i feel like slit necks are such a simple design element that really elevate a simple basic bodysuit okay so these are the first jeans so i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about them on me they're quite like a casual style which i'm not really used to i'm normally like more of a tapered fit kind of girl so these ones i'm not sure 
but these are the 90s straight leg jean in curve love and i kind of thought that curve love was for curvy girls and i'm not a curvy girl unfortunately but after doing some research apparently it's actually really good for all body types and it's more just that the waist comes in a bit more and there's more room around this area and can you kind of see it almost like gives me the illusion of curves I basically picked up loads of different sizes and styles of jeans so i really wanted to get it perfect so when i'm ordering in the future i know exactly what to go for but yeah these are the only curve love i picked up and now i'm like oh wish i picked up curve love and the rest these are a size 25 regular definitely could have gone made mm, yeah i think i could have gone down the size at the waist but the length is pretty good maybe a tiny bit long but like this with trainers i think could look nice i don't know i think they are a bit like too cool for me but yeah let me show you the next pair so these are the ankle straight jeans and i don't know why but for some reason white jeans tend to have a different fabric and they're normally quite thick and uncomfortable but these are so soft like really really soft really stretchy as well and i love how they're in this off-white color like that definitely makes them feel less summery and more autumn winter yeah so a really gorgeous color i think it makes them look a bit more expensive as well so these are in a 25 and they fit perfectly and they're in a regular length as you can see i think the length is perfect so yeah i'm definitely keeping these ones and they're also quite flattering on the bum as well as you can see i mean i don't have much of a bum but i think it looks nice i also love how high waisted they are so these are a definite win by the way guys everything i mentioned will be linked down below i'm just like walking around the flat in these and i just can't get over how comfortable they are they really don't feel like typical jeans oh i'm obsessed now these jeans are very typically me like these are like my go-to style mum jean quite tapered fit so these ones are the mom jean high rise 24 in short i kind of think they look a little bit short so i might swap these for a regular i'm five foot four for reference and yeah i never really know because i'm kind of on the cusp of petite but also not petite so so i thought i'd get a short pair and just see what the sizing is like but yeah i think there's a little bit too much ankle showing other than that really soft really stretchy comfortable and i also really love the color they're like not too bright blue they're not too gray they're really nice in between what i think i'm going to do with these ones is order them the same ones but in curve love and regular because everything else about them is perfect but the fit isn't quite right these next ones are the 90s straight ultra high rise i really love the extra inch here at the waist i think it's really flattering it suits my body type these are in a size 24 but i feel like i could have gone down there's a little bit of room here i love the color it's just like washed black gray the length is really nice i think this with like a pair of trainers just for casual days would work really nicely um so yeah these ones i'm keeping i really like these ones and then finally a favorite that i showed you guys last year quite a few times these are their faux leather straight leg jean they just fit so perfectly they're buttery soft they've got a really light fleece lining on the inside are just so snug and these are just like a go-to pair of trousers in autumn winter because i think they add texture they're cool they're flattering they go with so many different outfits day night these ones are in a regular so that kind of tells me that in abercrombie i am regular not short and the waist is 24 but do you know what i actually might swap these for the curve love just because i feel like i could have a tiny bit more room around here but the waist is perfect but yeah i did want to experiment with different sizes and really let you guys know how things fit so you have a full view i just thought it would be more useful and informative that way i also picked up a new one of these knits i love abercrombie's ribbed knits they're just incredible they feel so luxurious and so expensive i have quite a few I really love this one. It's very. Oh, can't wear a bra of this one. Let's see if I can tuck the bra away for a moment. Yeah, it gives me. You know the brand Kate that is literally like a thousand pounds for a top. It's like the same kind of vibe. Oh, how nice is this? So thick and squishy, and it fits so well too. I feel like this will sell out, so I'm gonna link this below. Um, oh, I love this. I'm gonna wear it today, but. I've got the AC on full blast, it's really warm. And I did also pick up another stripe knit. I just love stripy knits. They're so, you know, they just give me cozy vibes. You call it in or out? No, in. This is in like a navy and cream. 
very like oversized, squishy, feels nice quality. I love the big sleeves. This is giving like totem vibes. I think I got this one in an extra small. No, I got this one in a medium. Okay, so I'm just working from home for the rest of the day. I thought I'd put on the other Abercrombie slash neck top. Um, do you know what I mean about it just being a little bit more elevated? And it's just so comfortable. It's got um, this double layered thickness to it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little Abercrombie haul. I'm going to put my code up on the screen again for you guys. If you have any questions about sizes or anything like that, let me know. And a massive thank you to Abercrombie for working with me on this video because I am their biggest fan, so it's always a delight. Good morning, my loves. Happy Saturday. This big Selfridges box arrived on my doorstep this morning. I ordered some new Uggs for autumn. The funny thing of Uggs, I think they are genuinely kind of ugly and I don't think they're sheep, but I just can't help but wear them. They are so comfortable. And even though they don't look very good with outfits, they just somehow work. I just love them. So I thought I'd pick up a new pair this year. I've still got my old pair, they're in good condition, but I wanted like a different style. And that was me thinking, oh, I'm gonna buy this style here because no, I haven't seen anyone else wear them. Um, maybe they're like a new style. I haven't seen this colorway before. I've just gone onto my TikTok and every single other video are girls showing their new Uggs and it is this pair. So that was me thinking I've got something new, but obviously not. I'm gonna show you guys because regardless, I love them. So I've currently got the Ultra Minis and they're great in like the chestnut colour. And then I saw these and I was like, oh, I just fell in love. Look at them. Look how cute they are. I love like the embroidered stitching on the top. And they're in this really lovely like kind of sandy colour. What is the colour called? I pop. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I picked up a brownie from the local bakery this morning, so I was like, oh, I'll have this with my tea later. Opal has just taken a big chunk out of it. What a lucky boy. Do you know, when this used to happen when he was, when I first got the bunnies, I would freak out if they ate anything wrong. Now, I honestly don't care because I know they have stomachs of steel. They can eat anything. Like, chocolate is so poisonous to rabbits. Opal once ate an entire lint chocolate and he was absolutely fine. I obviously took him to the vets. I was freaking out, but that boy can eat anything. Um... Anyway, back to the Uggs. I'll link these ones down below, but there were only three on site last time I saw, and they're all in a size three. How cozy. These are literally like wearing slippers. I can't wait to wear them. I'm going to definitely put some like crap protect on them because you want them to stay looking new. If you don't use crap protect on your Uggs, they're not going to last you as long because they just end up looking so dirty. Now, the only thing I would say about these, these are the... Um, Tasmans, by the way. The only thing I would say is they really do slip up at the back. Heel really doesn't like stay in, it slips up a lot. But I feel like with Uggs, they really do mold to your feet over time, so I'm hoping that will stop. Super, super cute. Another really exciting parcel arrived, full of autumn wear stuff. So I'm gonna show you that in next week's video. I'm really excited for next week's video already. I really wanted to sit down in this video and just talk to you guys and just be as open and honest as possible with you. And I tried to film this video last week, but honestly, I was so waffly. My thoughts were all over the place. Nothing made any logical sense. So I'm here now and I've kind of realized the reason it wasn't making any logical sense is because I can't even articulate the way I'm feeling in my own brain right now and it's nothing bad it's nothing negative it's more of just i've been very in my own head recently and i've been really trying to figure out how i want to do things in my life and how i want my thoughts to be and all of these kind of things and i know i'm being quite vague but this is the best way i can explain it a while ago i asked you guys on youtube about how you want to view my videos if that is a strict routine or if it's just as and when and the comments were quite mixed, but I think the general consensus seemed to be you guys like a routine, weekly scheduled upload, which I completely understand. And I really took that on board. I was like, okay. So I really stuck to that for um, a while because first of all, I'm just so aware of how privileged and lucky I am to have this incredible platform of all of you girls. Well, we're 95% women, so there are some guys here. Sorry, I didn't mean to exclude the guys. And I never ever want to take that for granted. So I always want to do things that I guess kind of like fit the majority consensus. And honestly, my dream, my dream would be to put out one video a week and just breeze through it, easy peasy, really enjoy it. But the truth is, and this is just me being completely open and honest, I really, really struggle with that. I so, I find it really difficult to upload one video a week without feeling stressed and like I'm scrambling for time, like I'm taking that time away from other things and I 
find that really 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 hard to admit because it makes me feel like a failure because this is my job but equally at the moment i am balancing so many other things i've got my instagram i've got my tiktok i've got um two other really exciting projects that i'm working on and it is just a lot and i find myself really comparing myself to other creators and this is something that i've never used to do i never used to compare myself to anybody i was really strict with myself that um comparison is the thief of joy and that quote is so true but i've recently found myself really comparing myself to other creators like okay this person has instagram youtube tiktok they have businesses and they can do it fine so why can't i do it um and i was explaining this to my friend and they were like okay but like first of all you don't know what's going on in their head and also you're not them like just because somebody else can do it doesn't mean you can do it and that's kind of like stuck with me and i've been trying to be really kind to myself but i've realized that like i've been really unkind to myself and i would never treat a stranger like that i would never treat my friends like that my family so why am i treating myself with such like harsh standards and opinions i really don't want to do that anymore so the last few weeks i've really been trying to reframe my thoughts and just think about how i'm doing my absolute best and that is enough and so i've just really taken the last three weeks to really try reframe my thoughts really work out what is the best and most optimum way of working so i don't feel like a duck paddling underwater looking very calm on top i've just yeah i've just kind of decided that like i really want to take the pressure off myself and feel like i'm doing things with more intention and love don't get me wrong when i'm filming i really enjoy filming and i'm like there and i'm present out of all the platforms youtube is by far the most work i think it probably takes um if you add all of the time filming and all of the time editing up and like doing the description box and everything thumbnails it probably takes two days and at the moment that just feels like a lot and I'm not saying I'm quitting YouTube, definitely not quitting YouTube anytime soon, but what I am saying is I'm really taking the pressure off myself. And I don't wanna have this like immense feeling of guilt when I upload. And I think part of that is to do with, um, I get so many lovely messages when I don't upload, like loads of girls message saying, you know, you miss me and you like, am I uploading a video this week? And that really does make me happy because it's just nice to know that you're missed and it's nice to know that people are really that invested. But I've also had some like really brutal messages as well about how I'm not uploading. And I think maybe that's kind of where this whole thought process started like kind of unraveling. One thing about, I've been online now for five years and obviously you get a lot of comments and you get a lot of feedback all the time and 99% of the time it's really positive. And the 1% of the time it isn't. I have learned to really kind of filter it. So if it's like a really mean message and it's telling me something, but I, from the bottom of my heart, don't agree with it. And I know that my family, my friends don't agree with it. It can't get through to me. It can't get to me. However, if it's a message that I slightly maybe agree with, even if I don't think I agree with it, but subconsciously I agree with it, that's when I do kind of take it to heart. So the messages that I had that were like quite nasty, you know saying about um me up me not uploading they got to me because i agreed with them <laughs> so that's like the reason why i was like no i need to reframe this and i need to redo how i'm doing this in my head because i can't let messages get to me otherwise like this job would be impossible so yeah i just think kind of taking the power back slightly and releasing the pressure is going to be so beneficial to kind of like my general well-being and like my happiness so i really hope what i'm saying is making sense and that was so hard for me to admit. One thing I've never really said on my YouTube before was that Instagram was kind of like always my main platform. And YouTube is what I did on the side because I really loved it and it was just fun. And we just so happened to grow to this amazing community. And now that I'm like, oh, by the way guys, I hit a million followers. <laughs> just adding that in there, I hit a million followers on Instagram. And I freaked out completely. I think it still hasn't like hit me yet. It even makes me emotional trying to think about it because I just think it is wild that number and my name are together right now yeah i'm still yet to properly celebrate it but i'm just like still trying to absorb it when i started when i started youtube i think i had a hundred thousand followers on instagram and it was so much more manageable back then then all i had was instagram and youtube and it was so easy for example in lockdown it was so easy doing youtube videos i was doing like two a week because i had nothing on instagram all my contracts were paused so youtube felt so natural but now where i'm so tied up in so many different things and projects 
that's kind of why I'm struggling. And I hope that kind of gives you guys a bit of context. So yeah, I hope that all made sense. And I hope it came across the right way because I love you guys so much. I see you as a big extended friendship group. And I'm sure you guys will understand because I think you're all very understanding. In short, just to summarize, I feel like the weekly schedule just doesn't work for me. It doesn't bring me joy. And instead, I'd much rather have a more relaxed schedule. When I do upload, it will be Sundays at six but that doesn't necessarily mean every single week. And even just saying that right now kind of fills me with so much like uh, relief, like a huge weight has been taken off my shoulders. And that is just how it is at the moment. Maybe it will change in the future when I feel like I'm able to balance things a bit better, but right now I'm not balancing things well, so yeah. I need to show you my view right now because Opal is so cute. He's passed out. I'm gonna film it on my phone and show you. Like, look at that baby. His mouth is wide open. Fast asleep, twitching away. He's so cute. I am uploading next week though, as I mentioned, because I have so many new autumn winter bits um, I wanna show you guys and like, I need to show you early so they don't sell out. So that's happening. What else have I got to catch you guys up on? Let me know in the comments what I should do to celebrate 1 million followers. So I wanna do a close friend celebration. And I also wanna do something like with you guys somehow. Imagine if we could just have a huge party together. That'd be so nice. Or like a huge picnic in the park. I wish I could do that. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe a giveaway or, I don't know, I just don't think it's very creative. What's something else I could do? Let me know if you guys have any good ideas because I'm struggling, but I'll do something. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Did you have a nice nap? Oh, did you? He's feeling really sorry for himself today. I don't know why, but he is um, very sulky. Oh, look. It's like a baby seal, don't you?